Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for June 29th, 2022. Let's go ahead and dive into the reading, shall we? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. Okay, we have the power of number five. We could see the Hierophant kick in, also picking up on the five of cups, five of swords, and the five of wands. However, you could also be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini throughout the month of May. Power of number 11, we could see the Justice card kick in, something about the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, or... Something in your life, Scorpio, may be trying to get balanced out and or possibly that there is some form of legal battle or situation that is going on. If it's not going on with you, there could be a legal battle possibly in the works or in the mix of things for a specific person that you could be involved with right now. Okay. Could be dealing with our astrological next door neighbor, Libra. Ooh, interesting. 11 we got 11 11 energy that twin flame soulmate connection life partner connection that would be interesting to see the four of wands kick in and have that hierophant energy either side by side or in proximity to that energy mm. looks like we are going to the number 27 we could also see the devil card kick in you could be dealing with the capricorn straight up we could see the magician or any of the aces, so you could be dealing with any zodiac sign, but if the magician makes its presence known, you could also be dealing with a Gemini and or possibly an Aries, okay? Power of number 12, Piscean energy that could kick in through the hanged man card, things that have been in flux and or suspension or somebody is gaining wisdom, clarity, and or insight. Power of number seven, Cancerian and Leo energy you might be dealing with throughout the month of July. Picking up on 717. Maybe some of you guys have been seeing the energy number or angel number 717. You can see the star card, sign of Aquarius. Something about community, social media platforms, the star card. Rising to the top again, Scorpio. Don't give up on your passions, dreams, or pursuits. High Priestess, something about opening up your crown chakra and or your third eye, or there could be secrets that are going on in the mix right now, or maybe some of you have been remaining very hush-hush or possibly silent about something in particular or a particular person. Definitely seeing the Two of Cups in my mind's eye, but I'm also picking up on the Two of Wands and Two of Pentacles, okay? Power of number 27, we're going to go ahead and start off with the Kipper deck. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Some of you could be, uh, oh, and we could also see the world card. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, or another Scorpio, such as yourself, or there is going to be an ending to a karmic pattern or cycle so that a new beginning can kick in. Power of number 27. about a message somebody's going to be contacting you Scorpio you could be waiting for a text message a phone call possibly an email it could also be a direct message through snapchat Facebook Instagram Twitter whatever the case may be there is a message headed in your direction it could be in the next seven minutes seven hours seven days could it be seven months? Mm, that energy is a little hazy to me, and I'm going to say, no, I don't feel like it's going to take that amount of time. But the power of number seven, something about the seven o'clock hour. 
somebody wants to reach out and connect with you. I feel like there's been radio silence or you have been in no contact with a particular family member, maybe a friend or a specific person on a romantic connection. Hmm. What could this message be about? Maybe you had tried to reach out to this specific person, Scorpio, and maybe their response was very bland. Like there was no substance to the message or to the response text message that kind of just left you feeling, uh, okay, I'm not going to respond to that. No contact works, you guys. Don't try to probe at your person. Somebody here is gearing up to communicate and or connect. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be on a romantic level, okay? I am picking up for those of you who are on dating website apps or just a website in general that if you are in search of a new soulmate that, yes, you could be getting messages in that type of email box okay or inbox all right that's one thing however a lot of you guys are dealing with job and career situations and have been waiting for personal response from a potential employer okay so we're gonna see what this message is all about i'm picking up a little bit of everything okay Two. I'm on the power of number two in my head. Look what fell out. Somebody is coming to see you. It could be from a great distance. This person could live at a distance. This is card number seven. We're in the seventh minute of this video. It could be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo. So more specifically, you could be getting a message from your Leo or Cancerian, but it could be any zodiac sign. Okay. There is something about forward movement or some form of victory and or success okay what is this message all about trusted ancestors and what direction is this headed towards scorpio please what is this message all about oh Not exactly the energy I technically wanted to see, but I feel that there is a back story to this energy. The reason why maybe if you're dealing with a specific person, they're going through some kind of a battle right now. You could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Does not have to be, but it is the five of wands. This person has been in some form of conflict, which could be another reason why that their inconsistencies with their communication has been, we'll just say topsy-turvy or like a roller coaster ride, okay? It is exceptionally important, Scorpio, for you to stay grounded and not allow this person's communication or lack of poor communication skills to get you triggered. When this person reaches out to you, Okay, and I'm feeling that this is more on a romantic dynamic, okay? We still have yet to do some more clarification here, okay? That do not lash out at this person because I feel like there's something that is stewing or brewing in the mix of, like, the grand scheme of everything. Keep your cool. I know you're very loyal, Scorpio. All of us Scorpios, we're very loyal. And... I know sometimes it could be our way or the highway, you know, that's when we're exercising our ego. However, I feel that there's something, there's an underlying factor that's going on here. And this person is, it's like I'm picking up on the seven of cups. I feel like this person is going through some form of anxiety, picking up on the word anxiety, okay? And it could also be triggering you too as well, Scorpio, how this person communicates with you. A lot of you do not like the inconsistencies. 
some of you guys have definitely gotten to the point of whatever. Okay. Totally understand. I totally get that. Okay. However, there's communication that is coming in. I do feel that this will be very strong communication. When this per person reaches out, do not say, where the hell have you been? Why haven't you messaged me? Did it? I don't want you to be not your true self, Scorpio, but stay positive. Keep, until this person reaches out to you, I want you guys to stay focused on what it is that you guys have to get done. Okay? Release, let go. What does release and let go mean? It does not mean that you are forgetting the person or that the universe thinks that you don't want this person, etc. It has nothing to do with that. The hardest thing to master with manifestation, and believe me, I know this for a fact, it is exceptionally difficult for a Scorpio, especially a Scorpio, so I'm ruling this out out of all of the other 11 signs of the Zodiac. Yeah, guess what? It is exceptionally difficult for us to be patient and, uh, you know, to kind of put up with no nonsense and get aggravated because... Again, it's, it goes back to the golden rule. We do unto others as we would have them do unto us. Correct? Okay. Now, that doesn't mean that you're a doormat. Okay? Just play it cool when this person returns or reaches out to you. Be busy. Okay? Because you guys have a lot of irons in the fire out there. And that should keep you focused right now. You are not abandoning this person's energy per se when they reach out. You need to be observant. Go into hermit mode. Observe the text message. Observe what they are saying on the phone. Remain silent. Let this person say what they've got to say. Okay? Because you never know. You might end up being quite surprised. Now, where is the conflict? This five of wands, where is it actually stemming in from? That is another major factor right now. <clears throat> okay this person could be in a very conflicted marriage right now or a long-term partnership so what i'm picking up here's the hierophant power of number five that came up on the first roll of the dice now again some of you guys could be dealing with the taurus or gemini throughout the month of may does not have to be okay this person is going through a battle. If they are dealing, for a fact, with a third-party situation, there is a discombobulated energy that is going on. And a lot of you guys are fully aware, well aware of this. This person might have told you from the horse's mouth of what they're dealing with, X, Y, and Z. Okay? So, <clears throat> this person is conflicted about commitment, but I feel it's something that they are dealing with outside of you. I'm going to clarify the hierophant here. Ha! There's a hermit. I told you. Be observant. This person, yes, they know that they've been silent. But what I'm feeling here is that their higher self... The higher self, here, here's the good news. I'm seeing a, a situation in these cards here. This is a lot better to have a very high spiritual card over another. The hermit is actually very spiritual. It's a very spiritual card. Your trusted ancestors can come through this. They can be the ones that are lighting the pathway, putting you on the path of least resistance. But this person, they've been silent. They've been in hermit mode. Their higher self is like calling to them. What I would not want to see is, for example, to have this over this. Mental conflict. This is mental conflict going on because the hermit thinks. They go within. So that is a blessing through the cards in disguise. That this five of wands is not dominating over this hermit, okay? So what's happening here is, here's a hierophant. Third eye chakra, crown chakra. It's mostly the crown chakra energy. There is a soul's purpose or a calling that is going through this person. And what I'm feeling here 
is that this high row font, even though it's showing me like it's a base support foundation for this five of wands, I see it differently this time. I'm looking at this hierophant as a blocker, blocking, trying to block any more distractions from this person. So what I'm feeling here is that this person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, I feel like they're going through an inner awakening, which would prompt and compel me, again, when they reach out, stay silent, listen to what they have to say, even if you're saying, uh-huh, okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and just observe, okay, just observe, because we have yet to clarify this full message here, okay, this message that is coming in towards you now. It would compel me, I'm going to clarify the hermit, but what's going on with this hierophant and the hermit card, okay? What is the hermit trying to shed light upon for this specific person that Scorpio is dealing with? It is about commitment. It could also be about their marriage or their long-term partnership. Again, if you know for a fact that this person is in a third party, okay? They're also thinking about commitment here with you. This is the reason why their higher self is trying to get their minds cleared, get them out of that seven of cups energy that they've been stagnant about. Are they thinking about you? Yes, they are. Queen of cups, male or female does not matter. This person is in love with you. They want to rebuild the connection. The tower card is in the reverse. Okay. So, King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra throughout the month of September. And I also have now Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy as well. This person, I feel, is trying to figure out how to race and charge ahead towards you. This discombobulated energy, this could, again, be people or distractions. Yeah, they're getting ready. They're going to be rushing in to bring you another offer. And they know that their behavior, their attitude, everything that they're doing, pulling away, coming forward, pulling away. They know it's been on. Listen, they're not stupid. They know exactly what they're doing. That's where you have to determine where your level of forgiveness is at. Forgiveness is a choice. Okay. Forgiveness is a choice. But if you can find a way also to Scorpio, not to show this person that you are bothered, okay? That doesn't mean that you walk all over them. There's a way to convey things through feeling and not be or show emotional discombobulation, okay? Or that you're not mentally stable. This person is already going through something right now. So it's not going to help if your person's going through mental discombobulation and they can't get themselves focused and, and they're just all over the place. How is it going to, like, it's not going to help them if you are not grounded either, right? So take control of your own power, your own energy right now because this person has something very important to say to you that they're going to be rushing in. Okay, and I feel like this, in some regard, it's going to catch you off guard. The only reason why I'd say that is because that tower card was in the reverse, okay? Show me the four of cups. Yeah, see, they're going to be, they're no, a lot of them know that you're single, but they, see, when you go silent, when you go rogue, you go no contact, you do not pr push or probe at this person, try to keep getting their attention, whatever. What happens? What, how does this person see you? They become more and more and more and more and more attracted to you. Keep doing your own thing, Scorpio. Stay focused on your prize, okay? Because you are the prize, A, number one. Two, 
These are your passions, dreams, and goals right now. You guys have a lot of irons in the fire right now that are trying to bloom and grow and prosper. And this person's inconsistencies have allowed you to get distracted because your heart, see, your emotions are involved. Why would I say that? Queen of Cups was on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so it's going to happen. This per Yeah, look, at it is going to happen. This person's coming in with a major offer. Okay. This person is going to reach out. They may apologize for hurting you or for their inconsistent behaviors or for putting you in a third party. Or it could be they may let you know that they have officially gone through a breakup. Okay? It's because when I add up the numbers, 7 and 3, what's 7 and 3? 10. 10 represents an end of a cycle. Something's closing out that this person, yes, it is the truth. Ace of Swords, something is massively closing out for this person that you're dealing with. This person may also tell, tell you that they got backstabbed, they got betrayed, etc or that they're trying to figure out a way also too to possibly come and see you their strategy that's also going on but it can be possibly an apology for their behavior their sneaky ways or it could just be for i think the the sneaky ways are the inconsistency 